Okay. Um, I have a request from one of my subscriber. Okay, is to uh, copy a particular meta tag or metadata tag. Okay, from one tag to another metadata tag, but multiple files are uh, at once. Okay. Uh, I already did the multiple files, okay. The, but I did it by uh, changing, adding, and editing, all right, the text of multiple files at the same time, okay. But this is a little bit different, right, Because you are taking the data from one metadata tag, copy it, and use the value to place it in another, uh metadata tag all right so okay i spent some time on it and i got the solution okay so i'm gonna show this uh how it's done uh first of all let me just display what is inside the uh, directory so this is where i store my exif2 i have two of them okay uh but anyway i'm just gonna use the exe file inside this directory the same directory i got two jpeg file all right you i just placed two jpeg file. you can imagine that there are 400 or 500 jpeg file it will work the same the same uh command will actually work all right so the first thing i would like to do is to show for right, the content of these two uh jpeg file there is two particular content that I am uh, interested in, but let me just run the command first. So it's the uh, exif tool. All right, I'm gonna run the exif tool, but I will be interested in the file create date and the date time original all right these two particular meta tag or metadata tag and i want to do this for all the jpg so everything that ends with jpg all right so the exe will be excluded so i'm going to hit enter all right so now uh, you can see the image one and image two. So you actually list one by one. So you can see the file creation date time, okay, the uh, original date time, then the file creation date time and the original date time, which they are not the same. All right, they are not the same. Okay, uh, the dates are the same, but the times are not. All right, so the creation is a zero one something something. And the original is actually 17 something something something. Alright. So what I will like to do right now is to take the file create date. Alright. And copy the data. Right, which is the file create or this zero one. Okay and copy the data to the date time original so the date time original will be overwritten so it will not be 17 anymore it will be zero one something something okay so and i want to do it all at once okay so i forgot that okay i want to do it all at once okay which is all at once all right. uh, so even if there is 400 files or 500 image files it will work the same way okay so how do i do this of course i need to run the command and then later on i need to verify that the change actually work so so i will do the exif tool okay i will put a double quote this is a double quote so what is the thing that I want to change. So the one that the parameters, the tag that I want to change is the 
D time original. All right, D time original. All right, and where am I gonna take this data from? Well, usually we will put an equal sign because we want to change it to that value. But now I want it to take some other value from some other source. So I will use the uh, less equal sign, right, which is more like an arrow. Right, from where? From file, create, date. Okay, from file created, and I need to close the double quote. All right, but uh, where am I gonna do this for? Who am I gonna do this for? I'm gonna do it for everyone, every file, which is the wildcard ending with JPG. All right, so I hope everyone understand the uh, the the commands over here. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. All right. Uh, there is warning messages. See, warning messages. All right, but the files are updated. See, two image file updated. All right, okay. Uh, there's a difference between warning and error. Okay, so I think uh, all programmers would have understand it by now. All right, doesn't matter. Let's view. All right. The result see what happened okay see what happened it is no longer zero one and one seven no longer zero one and one seven it is zero one and zero one see zero one and zero one so basically i took the file create date and place it copy it into the date time original and because I am using the wildcard, all right, so it runs on every file that ends with JPG inside this directory. So it doesn't matter whether you have 400, 500, or 600 files. One single line right, would solve all this problem. Okay, so uh, this will solve the query, all right, uh, for the part two, okay, that we have.